I saw this practice in the New York Times for core strength and stability. Since so much of the practice involves yoga, I thought, well, why not? Why not do it for my practice? We'll begin. I'm going to use one block for one of the stretches in order to go a little bit deeper in the pose. We'll begin standing. At the very end of your mat, take your hands forward, come to plank, walk the hands back. And again, walk the hands forward, come to plank, and back. And again, walk your hands forward, in plank. Come back, that's three. Two more, walk your hands forward, plank. Come back to Uttanasana, forward bend. One more time, plank, and come back. Now come to your knees for hip extension. We'll be on our forearms. This is a slight modification. After using our wrists so much, I'm changing this slightly so that you can strengthen the upper arms. Interlace your fingers with your elbows, slightly narrower than your shoulders. Come to a forearm plank position, lift up, the right leg and you come to a hip extension. Do this 10 times. And now do the left foot. Lift up the left, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Down, four more, up, 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 and down. Release down. If you've got a block, it's nice to use it on this one. It's a nice twist for the spine. I like plenty of space in this. Reach your left foot out so that you can scoot your right arm in. We'll do this six times. Reach up and twist. Lift up and reach your hand toward your foot. Reach up and extend. Reach up, draw toward your foot. Reach up and draw toward your foot. Come to the opposite side. If you don't have a block, you don't need it but I just love the fullness of the rotation it gives you. Reach up and rotate. Reach up, spread your fingers, and get this fullness in the upper chest and the side body. Extend. One more. Reach up. Now come to lie on your back. I always like ending my practice lying down, so I changed up the sequence just slightly in order to do this in accordance with my yoga practice. Draw your right knee in, lift your hip up and release it down. Lift up and down, lift up, and down, lift up, and down, and up, and down, and up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and down, trade sides. Draw your left hip in for hip flexion. Root down with your right foot, lift up, and down, and up, and down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, lift up, come down, lift up, 
and down, lift up and come down. This is called a beginner level and it's recommended that we do it twice. So come to standing. They call it inchworm. Take your hands forward to plank. Walk your hands back. Take your hands forward and back. Take your hands forward and back. Take your hands forward and back. And take your hands forward and back. Now come to kneeling. Interlace your fingers in this variation of plank position with your toes tucked under, lift up and down. With your right foot, lift up and down, and lift up and down. Just keep a nice repetition. Keep your foot flexed. And now trade sides with the left leg. Three more. Now come down to your knees and in a kneeling position, if you've got a block, grab it. Reach your left foot to the side, lift your right arm up and reach and up and reach and again reach up spread your fingers reach to your foot lift up reach to your foot again lift up and reach out and let's turn eight sides with your block or not, extend your right foot, lift your left arm up and reach. And again, and lift up the left hand, spread your fingers. Just got this nice fullness in the rotation. It's a little bit faster than I prefer doing it in my practice but it gets a nice spinal rotation in a short period of time. So let's do the final one, which is a bridge variation. Lie on your back. Bend your knees, plant your feet, pull your right thigh in, lift up and lift up, lift up, then come slowly down to tap. Lift up, lift up, and again, lift up, again, and eight, nine, and ten. Release with the right foot down, hug your left thigh in, lift your pelvis up, and up again, and up again, four, five, six, seven, eight, make sure the knee stands solid, and 10. Release, and in true yoga fashion, I like extending out and just assimilating the actions in Shavasana. You can release your legs, Close your eyes. Enjoy your breath. Allow this time of assimilation. To bring just a little bit more awareness the poses you did, to the spinal movements, and especially to your breath.
We breathe in deep and out long. You breathe in deep out long. Breathe in. Breathe out. Come to what feels like a very free and natural breath for you. Thank you for joining me in the practice. Namaste.